Good morning everyone. So it's raining outside right now. The rain's really coming down so you might hear that a little bit in the background but I just wanted to sit down and shoot a video kind of just talk through um, some of my goals for 2019. I um, wrote a list of goals on my phone last year and I started checking them off one by one and then I realized I should really hold myself accountable this year, sit down and really talk about it and um, hopefully if I make a video, put it in words, then I'll execute everything. So these are some of my goals for 2019. First goal is just to aim for healthier habits because a lot of people assume that I live a very healthy lifestyle, but I really don't. And I feel like such a hypocrite a lot of times because I eat a lot of uh, junk food, a lot of sugar, and I mean every morning whenever I, I go out to get my coffee, I'll get a pastry. My breakfast is usually whatever they have in the pastry cabinet and it's a lot of sweets, it's a lot of carbs. It's not really good for me. It doesn't really sustain me. It doesn't give me a lot of energy. So last week, Monday through Friday, I started this new plan from Splendid Spoon where I get five smoothies in the morning for breakfast and then five soups for lunch. And they just kind of help me make healthier options. Like this is my second week and I'm drinking the chocolate cherry smoothie. I actually had this last week as well. It's delicious. And for lunch today, I'm gonna have the kombucha kanji. What you can do is just peel off the top and then stick it in the microwave and just heat it up. But what I like to do is um, put it over the stove and then kind of heat it up. I'm so excited for kanji, I love kanji. Yes, yeah, so last week I did a smoothie every morning after I had my coffee. And then for lunch, I had a soup. And then for dinner, I can eat whatever I want. But usually because I made healthy options during the day, I'll continue it into the evening. So it's been nice. And I've already lost five pounds. I didn't even aim to lose weight. I just wanted to be healthier. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Splendid Spoon, I didn't know anything about Splendid Spoon before doing this. They're plant-based meals that are meant to help you kickstart healthy habits, especially whenever you need them most, which is like Monday through Friday, nine to five jobs. For the most part, I don't work a nine to five job. I do have the luxury of working from home for the most part, but I find myself getting lazy around lunchtime. So I order a lot of Postmates and I looked at my bill for the month of December and I was working a lot at County and ordering a lot of Postmates and it really adds up. So with Splendid Spoon, I already have my breakfast ready for me and then by lunchtime all I have to do is heat it up. So they're all pre-made. So I don't have to worry about prepping, cooking. It doesn't take any time at all. And every meal from Splendid Spoon is made from the freshest plant-based ingredients, gluten-free and GMO-free. It just makes eating healthy super easy. So I can't imagine going back to what I was doing before, which is eating like a pastry every morning with my coffee. So I'm really excited to kickstart my healthy habits. and then. I'll also, I really like these containers too because I actually reuse them. Um, I make a lot of things in my Instapot, like um, bone broth, vegetable broth, and all that stuff. So then I'll um, save the containers and fill them up and then um, use the ingredients for later too. So I think Splendid Spoon would be great for someone who's super busy because busy can be healthy. For someone who works a nine to five job, who works during the week, who lives alone and doesn't cook for anyone but themselves. So if you want to try Smilling Spoon, they did give me a link for $50 off your first purchase. And there's a couple plans that you can choose from too. So I'll leave all the information in the description box. So with that, healthier habits means a healthier mind, right? So I did download Headspace last year and I paid for the year subscription. So I want to really get back into that because during the summer of last year or even the spring of last year, I was meditating every day and um, using the app, but then I kind of stopped for a little bit and then as soon as I stopped, I kind of fell off the bandwagon completely. So I wanna go back and start doing that again. I'm trying to do it first thing in the morning, every morning. Another thing is that last year at the beginning of the year, I think this was a shock to a lot of people. Actually, I know this was a shock to a lot of people. A lot of people don't really know this about me, but I'm, or I was, still kind of am a smoker. So uh, last year at the beginning of the year, um, I told myself that I would quit smoking completely and it, it's hard to admit because I'm so into skincare and beauty and all that stuff and smoking is just not in that realm, you know? And a lot of people, whenever they see me smoking or whenever it slips out every once in a while, they're like, what the heck? Why do you smoke? You know, like you don't really seem like a smoker. You don't really um, smell like a smoker or whatever because I don't advertise it because I don't think it's cool at all. I don't, it's like 2019, who the hell smokes anymore, you know? I was doing like a pack a day from summer all the way until fall, basically. And every once in a while, I'll try to quit and it's just so hard. At the beginning of the year last year, I did quit for two months and I was so proud of myself. But as soon as I moved to Long Beach, all of my friends, like they all drink and we all smoke and it's just a normal thing, right? So I started smoking a lot again. And then that was my excuse for a while. I'm like, oh yeah, I just moved back and with my friends. That's fine, I'll just do it for a little bit. But then it got out of hand again, like a pack a day. And I used to love smoking in my car. 
So at the beginning of the year, this year, I cleaned up my car and then got it detailed. And um, the rule is not to smoke. I did cut down a lot towards the end of the year because I started working at county. And the rule to myself is that when I'm at work, I won't smoke all day. Or whenever I'm working, I just won't smoke at all. So it's hard whenever I have a day off or whenever I am not out and about. I'll just find every excuse to smoke, basically. And it's really hard to admit. So this is the first time, I think, on YouTube that I'm actually admitting that I am a smoker. And I think that once I admit it, I really hope that I'll smoke less. I cut out smoking in my car completely, so that's made a huge difference. If you know of anyone who used to be a smoker, or if you used to be a smoker and you quit, give me some advice, because I can use all- I've been trying to quit for the past 10 years, you know, and it's been brutal, so yeah. One thing that I did at the beginning of the week last week was that I um, started watching Marie Kondo's show on Netflix. I watched the first two episodes, it's kind of cheesy, but it really did inspire me to start cleaning things. So I took all my clothes and put it in a pile in my room. And then I started dividing them into sections, like things that I want to keep, things that I want to give away or sell, and then things that I just want to donate completely. Everything that I decided to keep, I put back neatly and sectioned them off into like little compartments so everything's organized and stays organized. So this year, what I want to do is shoot more um, uniform videos or outfit videos where you use the same things over and over again. It'll hopefully inspire you to shop less and kind of use the things that you have more and more. And I want to open a Depop shop and sell things that I don't fit anymore or I don't wear as much as I want to anymore. Oh, one thing that I really wanted to do because I worked in e-commerce for so long is that um, I love newsletters and I love being subscribed to newsletters, but I don't want to create my own newsletter. So I want to do the format of a newsletter, like a click through, um, the articles to read, music to listen to, that kind of thing. Almost like a general favorites, but in a newsletter form on my website. So in a way, it's almost like an online magazine. So I want to start that as soon as possible. I'll probably do it tomorrow when I have time. And the last thing that I have here on my list is that um, I want to master date more. So it's this term that Ian came up with a while ago, and it's kind of like masturbating, but it's dating yourself, essentially. And it's funny because when we were together, I used to always um, go to the movies, go out to dinner by myself, do things that you would normally do on a date, but by myself. And then after we broke up, like ever since I've been single, I just haven't been doing those things by myself. So I want to start doing that again or like consciously do that again. So like go to a museum, go to the movies, um, eat a fancy dinner by myself, picnic and pack a lunch. Um, buy flowers for myself, which I never do. Go on a hike and go to a concert. So yeah, I want to do at least one of these things once a week for myself. Yeah, so that's basically everything that I have for 2019, all my goals. Um, what are some of your goals? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.